Welcome back to the channel and today is a quick little video I'm be installing these X-Gen Auto Sequential Turn Signals on my side mirrors. If you've seen my um, side mirror video, you would have seen that I installed this and wired this up. I'll probably pop a picture on screen and a link in the corner, whatever corner it is is going to be on. And these are the current turn signal side mirrors that's on the car. These are just generic blinking and these are sequential so these are just going to, you know, go just like the headlights right here. They're pretty much gonna just be sequential, just like that. So, let's get these installed. We're gonna start on the driver's side. I'm gonna show you the driver's side. So, I'm inside over here gonna put the sequential side mirrors, the turn signals for my side mirrors. I'm gonna put them on my car. This is from the aftermarket mirror, and as you can see, there is no plug on this. It's just a wire that is siliconed in there to prevent corrosion, which is how that aftermarket um, company made it. So I took the liberty of buying a sub harness for from my car. This is for the fog light, but this works and plugs in to this. It's the same connection. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open this sub harness, you know, cut the wire, and then take this end and cut this off, and then put these together. So it will just be a plug. That goes in and I show you that the sub harness works again this is from this is from the fog light I ordered another one so obviously I don't take mine out that you can see it cuts on now that we confirm this connection all works we are going to use these solder sticks because you know the old traditional way of soldering you use a solder gun, um, iron or gun whatever and then you put like metal wire and all this extra stuff but with this, it's pretty much just this little thing right here. You just slide it in between the wires, then you just use a heat gun, and then you melt the solder onto it. And that's all without having to, you know, use a, iron, a solder iron or, and all that, no preparation. It's just simply melt this onto your wire and you're done. Super, these are super simple to use. It's like using heat shrink if you use heat shrink you know you put the heat shrink over tie your wires heat shrink it up and then it'll work well with this is basically actual solder so you're soldering everything together so you would just need the solder stick and a heat gun so you know you would just put your wires together like usual so let me try to untangle these and then just slide it back over wires so here they are see the metal the metal pieces here in the middle you just now leave it there and then you will grab your heat gun and you'll take your heat gun And if you look closely, you can see the solder already melted into it. So let me just. I guess the camera's not focusing, but you can see that the solder melted in there in person and still works. So we soldered them together. See the solder sticks are done. They're all soldered together. And this is currently working. So now that we confirm this is working, we can unplug this. And here it is. I just gotta push it in more for some reason. It doesn't wanna stay in, but I'll figure out to push this in all the way. But it does work, so. Now we know it works, we're just gonna button this up.
anybody wants to buy this sub harness, this is the part number for it. That's the part number for this sub harness if you do have, if you do go down the aftermarket mirror route, like I did. outside always oh, test it on the car first if you're using these aftermarket mirrors and as you can see these are flipped so I basically have to put this positive here this negative is and this negative where this positive is so let's switch it around real quick Flipped it over so red into black black into red and there we go it's working like I said, these are wired weird on this car, but that's how it works. So now, let's go solder these together. I just want to show you guys the turret signals at night. This is good at night. That is it for the sequential light. If you do get aftermarket mirrors, you can buy the sub harness from Honda. It is a fog light sub harness, you know, the sub harness. For these fog lights right here, it is a sub harness that goes there because there is the light and then there's like a little wiring harness that goes through here and then it plugs in into the body or the, um, the other harness that connects to the rest of the car. So Honda sells that sub harness. It's the same exact plug that goes in this mirror. So it will work on this, no problem. It'll just plug in. You just have to make your own connection off of that if you do wanna use aftermarket mirrors. But like I said, if you have a 2.0 Sport and up, you might as well just buy the OEM mirrors and then just say, you know, have the plug already in there because you're gonna have OEM blind spot and all that. Same thing if you are just doing this for the turn signal. Thank you for watching the video. I don't know if this is gonna be its own video. If it's not its own video, then thanks for watching the whole video. If it is its own video, thanks for watching this video.